my channel my name is Laura and today I am here to do reviews and as I finish a book I will be adding more books to the end of this video so we are up to book number 29 that I read and finished for the year and book number 29 is something that I started in the month of March it was for March mystery madness so it's it it is a mystery book I pulled it out of my middle grade box I have a bin of middle grade books that I want to read um, and when I went on to Goodreads, it said that it was a YA book. So the book that I finished is a YA book, and the book that I finished is called Stolen Children by Peg uh, Kahert. K Kahertz? Kahertz. I don't know if I said her name right. Sorry if I butchered it. Anyway, this is a very short story. It's 160 pages. 165 pages. Um, I really enjoyed this one. I gave it five stars. This book was amazing. It was about a little girl that's three years old. She gets stolen, but not only does she get stolen, the babysitter that's watching her is 13 or 15 years old. She gets stolen as well. And the whole book is the mystery of uh, where they we're going what's going on um and the babysitter is very very smart and she does some um, strange things that i did not see like she's trying to get away from these kidnappers and it was amazing i really enjoyed it again i gave it five stars uh yeah it wasn't it wasn't gross it was not it was great for middle grade it's like positive uh the writing was really good um it did make me think though at the end uh after reading this book how people like just think of themselves and don't help others so yeah i, I really enjoyed this i will definitely be picking up another book of another book that she wrote so yeah really enjoyable five star read so yeah okay i finished another book now don't get mad at me. This book was not for me. I have a hard time reading classics. So yeah, the book that I finished is one of my 50-50 uh, books that I picked out to read. And I attempted to read it because I do have the physical book, which is this, Pride and Prejudice. I do have the physical book. Um, yeah, I tried reading this. The, the lighting's a little bad. Anyway, I tried reading this. Um, I read like 20 pages and I was like, this is not for me. I don't know what the hell's going on. Sorry for my language. But yeah, it was just, I couldn't do it. And then I went on Goodreads and um, I searched. I'm like, okay, everybody's giving this book five stars. So I tried to search for two and three stars to see what their comments would was and actually one of the booktubers Whitney gave it a two star and I agreed totally what she wrote there um, on her two star so while I was reading her two star and agreeing with her um, someone comment commented below saying that you should really watch the movie before you read the book or you watch Lizzie Bennet Diaries. So I'm like, what the hell is Lizzie Bennet Diaries? So here I am searching on YouTube for Lizzie Bennet Diaries. And there was uh, this YouTube channel. This, that's, what, that's what it's called. Um, and I watched 100 episodes last weekend. Just... Um, I really enjoyed the YouTube channel. Um, I enjoyed the story, the 100 episodes. I binge watched it Saturday and Sunday last weekend. And it really helped me to understand all the characters in this book. However, Lizzie Bennet Diaries only has three sisters. And in this book, there's five sisters. But there is um, not that much mention of the other two sisters. Anyway... So after I binge watched that, I got the audiobook from the library and I continued reading this. I just didn't like it. I mean, the audiobook was okay, um, but it was a lot of words and words and the mother saying, you should marry this one, you should marry her, you should marry this one, you should marry that one. 
But the story didn't go anywhere. I felt it was like so boring. Um, I think the audiobook was like nine hours and I sped I sped it up a little bit um, just to get through it. I just didn't like it. I'm like, okay, she doesn't like Mr. Darcy and at the end of the book, she kind of falls in love with him. I'm like, anyway, I just, um, I finished it. Um, I'm marking it off as a two star. I just did not like it. I mean, there's other books that are so much better than this one. However, as I was listening to, uh, uh, as I was watching, no, as I was watching the Lizzie Bennet Diaries, I was listening to it and watching it at the same time. I did another craft and I started a new craft and I am loving this new craft that I got. And I'm going to show you what I, what I did. Um, one of my, uh, subscribers mentioned to me when I think Naomi was on the channel um, mentioned when she was painting did I ever hear of diamond painting and I had no idea what the hell diamond painting was so I searched online I searched on YouTube and I found diamond painting and then I went to Amazon and I ordered one so when I was watching Lizzie Bennett diaries I made one and I finished it and this one is going to be uh, given to my sister. Um, I'm going to show it to you in a minute. Um, I finished it watching uh, two days, Saturday and Sunday, and I really enjoyed it. It was very peaceful and very calm. Um, and I am obsessed right now because I want to buy more. However, all these things come from ch um, ch China. So it took a very long time. I'm waiting for a few of them to come in the mail. I ordered one for Naomi. Um, hers is going to be an Eiffel Tower. I ordered one for Victoria because they all said they wanted to do it. And hers is going to be a unicorn. So the one that I did and finished is a butterfly and I'm going to show it to you in a minute. Um, I did the butterfly and the reason I did the butterfly is because my sister, um, Loris, my niece, um, she was only, um, three months old. Uh, she died from a heart, she had a heart failure and she died, um, from heart failure. So, um, so every time she sees a butterfly, we always say that it's Emily passing away and looking over us. So I did a butterfly. I'm going to frame it. It's not framed right now. So I'm just going to hold it up and, uh, it's also in my favorite color. So here you go. This is what I did and you can see look how the sh shininess of the diamonds which is really cool and i'm gonna frame this and give this to my sister for her wall so yeah it is beautiful i really love it i had books sitting on it so the diamonds wouldn't fall off if you can you see that sparkle it's really really pretty and i am going to give this and now i'm obsessed um i have another one coming in the mail i think i ordered a wolf um but I can't remember. Uh, it takes a long time. I ordered them from Amazon because I have Prime, Amazon Prime, so I get the free shipping. Um, I tried ordering from other companies and they're shipping from China and the shipping price was outrageous. So yeah, so I wound up going with Amazon. It's just taking a very long time to get them in the mail. The kit comes with the canvas and all the beads to uh, do this. So only the butterfly is where the um, diamonds are. So I'm really enjoying this. Thank you for whoever mentioned, uh, I don't remember who it was, I'm sorry, but whoever mentioned diamond painting, I'm now obsessed. So yeah, so I'm hoping to do more. It is great for audiobooks or watching Netflix or whatever. Um, it is fun to do and I really enjoyed it. So yeah. Um, yeah, so now I could call this my Pride and Prejudice Butterfly. <laughs> so, yeah. So I just finished watching the movie. I rented Pride and Prejudice from the library. Uh, it's a two-hour movie, I think. Um, I just finished watching it. Uh, it has, uh, Kira Knightley as the main character. I really enjoyed the movie more so than the book. So yeah, it was, um, it was pretty enjoyable. The t love tension was really good in this one. Um, the other characters, um, not so much, but, um, Mr. Darcy and, um, Elizabeth, 
yeah, it was really good. So I really enjoyed this one. So I do also have rented from the library the tv series so i'm going to watch that and come back and share with you how i liked the tv series so yeah i have it out for a week so i will come back and share with you um as far as uh, my um syn synopsis of this one um my thoughts i mean um i i like this more than the book so yeah <laughs> So from the library, I got Pride and Prejudice, the TV series, and I watched this one. It is actually two discs of DVDs, so it is, I think it was like four hours. I watched um, one disc yesterday, and I watched one disc today, and I really enjoyed this this version of it. Um, I think I am... I enjoyed this more than the movie uh, because there was more in this one. It showed more of Lydia in here and uh, more of the sister of uh, Jane. Um, I really enjoyed it. So yeah, a lot of dancing though. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I watched this for two days and I really enjoyed it. So yeah. So that is my Pride and Prejudice. Um... <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I like the movies more than the book, but yeah, maybe one day I will reread the book. I don't know, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I really enjoyed this. So yeah. <laughs> so I finished book number 31. I read Simon and the Homo Sabian's Agenda, and I'll put the picture up because it was an audio book. I cannot find my book. I do have a physical book in the house somewhere, but I don't know where I put it. Uh, anyway, I finished it. I listened to it on audio. I got it from the library for free on Hoopla, and um, I listened to it. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, I gave it four stars. The reason I dropped it down a star was because I didn't like the... I didn't like the cursing throughout the book and I didn't like uh, the underage drinking and the sexual content in there. So, but if they would have left that out, I probably would have gave it a five star, um, but it was amazing. I really enjoyed the story. It did have diversity in it and um, yeah, I, I think it's great for mature teens to read. Um, I was going to let Justin read it, but he's only 13 and I think that he needs to be a little bit older to read that book. So, um, I'm probably going to hold it off and, uh, wait for him to read it. So, um, yeah, so I gave it four stars for mature, uh, teens. Um, Simon is in high school. Um, my kids right now are in middle school, so I think it's a little too, um, advanced for them, but, um, they're going into high school next year, so hopefully they'll be picking it up and uh, want to read it. So, yeah, so that's my um, pick on that one. Gave it four stars, and that's it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in another video. Bye!